Good morning. So yesterday we left Tarbert and arrived in Millport, just kind of a halfway point to where we needed to be um, to get to our car because today I'm flying back to Poland to get Jasper. He has been with my parents for practically almost a month now, so it's time to go and um, pick him up. So I'll be flying out this evening um, to go get him while Chris stays on board with the dogs. Um, so yeah, we're just, uh, we're just getting ready to go. Chris has um, a show with the dogs for their last um, potty pee and then we'll be on the way down or up to um, the Gerlock to, to get to our car so that um, so Chris can drop me off at Edinburgh Airport. Last night when we arrived in Millport, um, one of our followers um, appeared in Millport too. He, um, he came to see us um, at Anchor. He's uh, anchored currently right next to us. He also has a, a Gypsy and I think it's a 442 if I'm correct. Um, so it's really nice to um, have a drink, spend some time together, um, chat through our sailing plans and DIY Gypsy Club, I guess. Um, I think Sven's doing um, a lot of the similar work to what we have already done or what we're planning to do. So um, yeah, we had a lovely evening um, chilling out um, late into probably probably way too early into the morning because it's, um, it's been difficult getting up this morning. Also, last night when we were underway, we started replacing our lifelines with Dyneema. Um, we, were, we had to motor for about four hours or so to get from Tarbert to Millport. The wind was just coming straight at us and there was no way around it. So we found a project. As always, we do like a project. Um, so Chris has done a wonderful job um, replacing these and I'll show you how they look. So we have a, a black one up here, up top, and we have a grey one down below. And Chris has done a fantastic job um, tightening these. And yeah, it's looking spectacular. Now I have the other side to do. Excuse our monkey fender covers, we need to get new ones. Um, and that's the top. So we've got the other side to do, but... Uh, it looks so much better. <laughs> so I, I've had a busy few days. So on Friday, I, um, I dropped Daria off at the, the airport. So we, we came back from Millport and uh, I drove her across to Edinburgh, dropped her off, came back to the boat. Um, Saturday, I spent doing some mods. So you probably see it, but I've got a new main sheet, which I'll show you through later. And now, having spent yesterday up to my elbows in tools and junk and, uh, you know, making a mess, I, uh, I spent the rest of the evening yesterday recovering and now I'm uh, on my way, Sunday now, now I'm on my way back down to somewhere in the Clyde just to, to chill out for a few days work, working at home. So, I'm off to get some fuel at Kip. Um, Clyde's looking... Harry Flatters, which is nice. Uh, forgive the fenders. Like I say, I'm just about to go into Kip for some fuel. Well, maybe go and give you a wee look at this uh, main sheet setup. Here we go. So, you might recall we used to have a track, like a Lumar heavy duty track. And we had a problem with that because we're trying to get a spray hood fitted. And there's no way you could have fitted one because the, the spray hood went right through that line there and it was within 10 mil of the, the front edge of the, the companionway. There was just no way to um, successfully bring a spray hood down on that. So <clears throat> we've tried this. So I spent yesterday pulling ceiling panels off and installing some big heavy duty pad eyes, setting up a bridle and doing a, a sort of hybrid German uh, main sheet. I say hybrid German, it's not really German. German has, um, you know, the, the Germans come down both sides of the boat to separate winches. That's not what this is. It's just really, it's like a, it's like a dinghy, almost like a, a laser with a bridle and um, a nice arrangement of blocks. So I'm looking forward to a bit of sailing to see about how that works. Um, 
I've already pushed the boom all the way out and I'm already a little bit, well, is this the right thing to do? Because the, the heavy double block ends up flopping on the, the, the deck bed area. So if that's flopping around, it could hit the, the new spray hood, it could hit, the, hit someone on the bed, you know, it's not a great idea. So I'm almost tempted to actually go to a proper German system whereby there, there'll be a block down there, a block over there, and uh, it sort of separates it both sides. So we'll see how we get on. I'm, I'm going to try it first and, and see just how bad it is. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. Another one of uh, Glasgow's famous exports. The last seagoing paddle steamer in the world, the Waverley. Always a pleasure and privilege to be passed by this. Still going to all the original piers that were on a route. So the, the clock lighthouse is a bit of a, a staple in maritime history. When freighters and ships uh, come up and down the Clyde going to destinations afar, often they have a, you know, a, a propeller revolutions counter on board and the crew would place bets on how many revolutions there would be uh, from location to location. And the clock very typically would be the location for the Clyde. So you would say um, to maybe the, the Verrazano Bridge in New York or to the clock, you know, something like that. You would say, a, a location to a location, and the, the clock was the was very often the, the location in the the UK and in, in Scotland in the Clyde. So, a very proud landmark to have on the Clyde. So, in a double whammy, we just had a whale or a dolphin somewhere under the boat. We're coming up the Clyde. We're about to get past probably by the Waverley as well. So, triple goodness all in one. <laughs> Bit of old versus new. The Waverley, the diminutive Waverley coming alongside the big cruise ship. Good morning. So we've had a couple of weeks of lazing around, really, around the Clyde. Um, we haven't really filmed much as I had to go back to Poland to get Jasper back from my parents and bring him back to Scotland. Um, we then had a few admin kind of related um, bits going on. We had our um, digitization done for our spray hood. Um, so we've kind of been bobbing about the Clyde. Um, today we are in Millport for the raft race where not taking part unfortunately and uh, we're a bit too late to sign up but we're here to cheer on everyone else and um, film it and see how it goes. Hopefully later today we will get on underway to somewhere else, uh, I'm not really sure where. I think we're going to head down the west coast of Arran um, 
and see where that takes us. The weather is beautiful, it's really sunny, it's, um, it's been a lovely, lovely few days with practically zero wind and enough sunshine to um, mistake Scotland with Greece, which is quite a novelty here, so it's been really, really, really nice. So the wrath race has now started, the countdown is done. You can slowly see everyone paddling out. So that's the last raft just catching up. Everyone else is uh, further ahead. You can hear everyone cheering like mad. I don't know if the camera's picking up or not. Chris has gone ahead on the paddle board with the Insta360 to get some shots. And the doggies and Di and Jasper were all chilling on board, waiting for the madness to pass. Huh, Mimsy? He's a good girl. There's Chris coming back. So after the raft race, we spent the day at anchor and just laid around, had a lovely time. And now it's um, the evening. The sun is slowly setting on the horizon. We stopped filming after the raft race in despair as uh, Christopher has killed the Insta360 because the little charging point flap thing um, came undone and the entire camera flooded <laughs> deeply. <laughs> you should feel better about it. <laughs> We spent some time ashore and went for ice cream and just laced around and played on the paddle boards and in the sea and done all the usual things you do at anchor when you're being lazy. 
There's boats all around us today and this is probably the busiest we've ever really seen the Millport Anchorage. We've had a few boats leave by now, but it's still uh, quite busy. We've had uh, a few guests over today, and uh, including Anne and Alan from Sailing Yacht New Dawn. I'm just reading the name. Um, yeah, it's been really, really nice today. It's been nice and sunny, and I mean, we don't often get bikini weather in Scotland. So this has been a rare treat, which is why we didn't really particularly film much. We just had fun and enjoyed it, um, because probably it's not going to last long. Um, it seems we have another week or so of really, really good weather and then the weather turns back to the usual Scottish sadness slash madness. So, we'll see. Well, like, like Darius says, we've been here for a, a few days now, but where else um, has this? The smell port's beautiful. Um, tomorrow, maybe, uh, you know, apart from washing, we've got a lot of washing to do. In fact, the reason the boat is so tidy is because it's all in the dinghy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we've got uh, washing to catch up with tomorrow. Then maybe on to Carradale and Campbelltown and try and get uh, some distance. So, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully. And Sander. And Sander. Yeah, we want to go to Sander. I have been organising stores and spares and labelling things, so that's why I'm faffing about with this. Paddle boards have been lovely. It's been really nice. We've been paddle boarding and chatting away with another boat over here. Alan um, and Anne from New Dawn. Yeah. <laughs> and they're, uh, they're West Coast regulars. Um, dogs have been chilling out, happy as, happy as can be. We've got uh, a bit of a janky uh, sunshade up for them, but it's, it's keeping the sun off of them. We were in um, Largs Marina a couple of days ago, and we got the uh, Saturn sails to template for uh, a spray hood, which we badly need. So that's that's in play. You can see a couple of datum points on the deck, and they've. We've got the line in, so um, yeah, that's good. We also, well, while uh, Daria was in Poland for collecting Jasper, I set up our new main sheet. So that's been fitted and tested and that's all working nicely. So that's into the, yeah, you know, we, we did the old epoxy drill fill and drill there. Um, there's a big backing pad in there. It's the, the cord deck's about that thick there. So we definitely had to drill fill and drill it. And it's just a nice Dyneema bridle. Um, and the old main sheet which went through there, that came off quite quite painfully to be honest, but it came off eventually. So now we've got enough space to to land a spray hood on it. Uh, so we're really looking forward to, to how that turns out. What do you think Mimi? Mimi will hate it because that's her favourite spot on the boat. Hey Mimi, <laughs> where's your favourite spot? She loves to lay there, but uh, she will no longer be able to do so. It's her viewpoint of the galley and potential calories. Yeah. If you ever uh, want to know where Mimi is, she'll either be hanging with her paws over there looking in, or hanging with her paws over this hatch looking in. Um, the galley? Yep. And that's if you over the galley. <laughs> the life of Mimi, huh? So as soon as Chris is back, we're going to get ready and get underway to the west side of Arran. Our plan is um, to get to Carindale today. We'll see how we go. Um, weather's lovely, there's some wind, so hopefully we'll get a nice sail in. We've really had to bounce around the Clyde um, these last couple of weeks because of so many commitments. So we are finally able to get out a little bit further on the west coast, which is really, really nice. We're looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing some new places. Um, weather is still looking really nice as well for the foreseeable few days, even though there's going to be a little bit of rain. But uh, yeah, we're going to try and get uh, make the most of it. 
So Cardale is the plan for today. Um, hopefully Campbell Town over the next couple of days. And then weather permitting, um, we'll go to Sanda, which we're really excited about because none of us have actually been there. So that'll be really fun. Milford has been great and we've had so much fun here. We've been out on the paddle boards every day. We've been swimming and snorkeling and we've met some really lovely people and from a couple of boats around us. So it's, it's generally been a really, really nice time. And with the weather hitting almost 30 degrees um, a couple of times, it's been wonderful for Scottish conditions. And unfortunately, our 360 is now officially dead. <laughs> Flying along at seven knots towards Cardale. Due to some squalls and swell, we bypassed Cardale and sailed all the way down to Campbelltown, where we spent quite a few days waiting out bad weather. Unfortunately, we missed out on visiting Sanda as we had to head back up north as soon as a reasonable weather window appeared. Stay tuned for our next stop, Locranza. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and till next time! <laughs>